how long can you stay on BPC-157? Well, this is a great question and it's one I get often. And I think by the end of this video, what you're going to determine is what are you looking to achieve when it comes to your health? And so I'll share with you some of the uh, downsides of staying on it long term with uh, receptor saturation, but the upsides, in my opinion, far outweigh the downsides. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. And we're even going to cover this misnomer that BPC-157 can trigger cancer or shouldn't be used and why that's one of the most damaging pieces of medical evidence and information that's out there. Not medical evidence, but damaging medical information that I've seen because BPC-157, it actually repairs the tissue. It stops the recruitment of those tricky tumors. So let's jump into it. And um, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and thanks for being part of this great community. So first of all, what is a peptide? A peptide is just a signaling molecule. That's all it is. It naturally exists in your body. There are hundreds of thousands of these signaling molecules. And when you've got the right signal, that's when your cells can express health. That's when you notice you recover better from workouts. That's where you can achieve these unreasonable levels of health, no matter what age you may be. The peptides in your body, as they do their function, this is how your body can be resilient to disease and metabolic dysfunction and how you can keep your brain sharp. And BPC-157, it is probably one of the most popular peptides known for good reason. Because what it's doing is this is not just a singular mechanism of action where BPC goes in and turns on a single switch so you can you know, repair your tendons and ligaments better. Think of it as the master key. And for those of you uh, property managers, my wife, she's a commercial real estate agent, but she also used to manage lots of these high-rise buildings and she always had a master key. And that master key worked in any of the locks. And so what BPC-157 does, it's called Body Protective Complex. It was discovered in the University of Croatia in like the 90s. And so it's been around a long time, but it's like that master key that unlocks all the genes and when you talk about the term pleiotropy, this fits the description of that perfectly because it activates your body's recovery system. And this is where it's, uh, you know, the Wolverine stack is BPC-157, thymosin beta-4 or TB-500. When you combine these, you get an even greater potential. When you add KPV and GHK copper, you're just accelerating the progress. And so the reason why I wanted to do this video is so that you can see exactly how it can benefit your life. So BPC, first of all, let's just cover the question. How long can you stay on it? You can stay on it every single day. I've taken it almost every day for over a decade. And the reason why, and you can take up to one milligram a day. I find that in some cases when I'm exercising more and pushing my body more, I'll increase it. I'll go one milligram. Sometimes I'll go two milligrams. My son has gotten me into these ultra runs and these ultra races. And I'm like, man, that's a lot of mileage to put on my body. And I want to recover. I don't want to have the soreness. I want to be able to go to the gym the next day and still crank out a workout. I want to be able to jump on my mountain bike and not feel like I'm torturing my body and BPC is the peptide that gets me there. But here's the caveat is if you're staying on at this daily volume at a higher level, then you do have some risk of this tissue receptor saturation. So the receptors become a little less sensitive to BPC. So what you can do is, you know, when I travel, which I, I travel often, I'll leave BPC 157 behind. I'm usually not gone more than two days. And so I'll come back and then I'll do BPC about four or five days a week. And when I'm gone, I'll take an oral version of BPC and KPV at night to activate the recovery process. Now, oral is probably not as viable as an injection. Some of you just don't like the needles. I understand that. But if you can get over that, the injectable version is going to give you a lot more mileage. Now, it is made from the gastric secretions in your stomach. So yes, there are some arguments to be made about the benefits of using it orally. And we have many anecdotal cases where our clients have come in and they've said, man, when I take BPC-157, I have no acid reflux. My digestion works better. 
and they've noticed that benefit, it lasts long term. It's something where eventually, even when they stop taking it, they're like, oh, I don't need BPC-157. And yes, there's other peptide stacks we'll have them on, retitrutide, we'll get on 5-amino-1-MQ, maybe some MOT-C. Some of these peptides to fix the metabolic system, we'll also do a complete gut clearing protocol for them and figure out, oh, do you have H. pylori? Is there other issues with your enzymatic production in your stomach where you're not breaking down the proteins. But generally speaking, BPC-157, based on what you're trying to optimize in your body, whatever your health goals are, I see that as a universal peptide that you can literally take every single day. And there's been no lethal dose ever established. In some of the rodent models, they were giving these rodents 40 to 50 times the quantities that you could ever take unless you just have money to burn <laughs> and they didn't establish a lethal dose. Now remember, peptides are not like drugs. Peptides, they give the receptor, the cell, just a little nudge and the cell says, hey, you're a friend, come on in, let's go. And then the BPC is just like, um, you know, it's just like this friendly worker that's saying, hey, your software needs updating. And now your cells start expressing better health. And at the end of the day, you start feeling better. So how does this work? Well, if you think about how BPC-157 works, it's similar to having these brilliant engineers who are remapping out the vascular system in your body. And they're looking at the body and they're saying, okay, here's where you've got tissue damage. In my case, I've had a lot of four total rotator cuff tears, you know, meniscal injuries, spinal fractures, cervical and thoracic. And what it will do is it will find the areas where those blood vessels got disrupted from trauma. At my brain, no doubt, as many of you know, my brain has lots of trauma and there's lots of vascular repair that needs to happen for my brain. And so BPC, it also activates what's called BDNF. It turns on the genes and makes growth hormone receptors open. And so you get an activation of growth hormone uh, just by using BPC indirectly. And then if you stack it with like a CJC-1295 or uh, tessamorelin, uh, sermorelin, you're going to get an even greater activation of the growth hormone and greater benefits when you're using BPC and growth hormone together. BPC-157, this vascular network that it's organizing, is really critical because as your body gets inflamed and what's going to cause inflammation, we call these the epic triggers, the emotional stress that we all have, it's the trauma that's unresolved, it's those difficult conversations we don't have and we ruminate on those and we have poor sleep because of it. The pain in our body, Pain does cause this increased level of cortisol, which also dysregulates the uh, inflammatory cycles because cortisol is our number one anti-inflammatory hormone. It flushes out the inflammation. But if it's always triggered, you're not getting that same cleansing effect from cortisol. The infections also cause massive amounts of dysregulation in the blood vessels and then any kind of chemical exposures. In many of you, you're drinking out of plastics, you're getting a lot of toxicity from chemicals just from the purification process of municipal water. Essentially, they cause this dysregulation in the blood vessels, all these epic triggers. The other thing is when you overexercise, when you're exercising and breaking down muscles, you're causing damage, you're tearing tissue, and that puts some stress on your blood vessels. Remember, it's like, it's a remodeling cascade that occurs, but what BPC-157 does is the intelligent engineers that go in and it promotes what's called VEGF. And the VEGF, or this intelligence, that allows you to strip off all of the plaque or the accumulation on the blood vessels. Now, if we go to the cancer things, which a lot of people say, oh, this is so risky, you could cause cancer because of the angiogenic properties, because BPC will find new areas where there's a traffic jam in the blood vessels and you have to create new formation of blood vessels. Now, one pound of fat is about a mile of blood vessels. So if you're putting on fat, you're gonna need a lot of highway systems and that fat accumulation, those blood vessels are going to be very poorly functioning. It's like a road with potholes, like a dirt road with weeds in it, and you don't know if you're on the right road or not. And that's where you have all the inflammatory molecules coming out and causing damage to that structure of the blood vessel. So what happens with cancer is cancer loves poorly functioning blood vessels. 
It loves the blood vessels that are leaky, just like you get leaky gut, leaky brain, you get these leaky vessels, and it's looking for these signals, these tumor necrosis factor alpha, the IL-6, these are these pro-inflammatory molecules that get spit off when your blood vessels aren't healthy. And so when you have angiogenesis, they're making the assumption that just because there's more blood vessels, the cancer is gonna have more fuel, but the cancer is going to have more fuel based on the poorly formed blood vessels. And that's the real trick, is if you can cut off that poor supply, if you clean up the roads, you fill in the potholes, clear up the bottlenecks, now your body's going to have the resilience it needs to fight back on that cancer. I'm Reagan Archibald. If you love this video, I've got a free download to my book, The Peptide Blueprint. We'll provide a link in the show note. Grab a copy of that book, and I'll see you on the next show.